In this series, we're going to be looking at SOLID, which is a set of principles created by Uncle Bob, also known as Robert Martin. These principles that we're going to learn in the next few lessons apply to all object-oriented programming, not just PHP. So these principles also apply to Java, to Python, all these languages. Um, I don't expect you to understand what's on the screen here. That's why we have this series. We're going to go through each of these principles in the next five lessons. In this lesson, we're going to go into the first, the first principle, which is S, which is called the single responsibility principle. Now, single responsibility principle is basically what it says. It's self-explanatory, really. Uncle Bob describes it as a class should have one and only one reason to change. So I have my index file here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm instantiating user and I'm creating a user. So if we go to this class, we can see here that we have that create method. And inside here, we're trying to save a user to the database. And if, we, if something goes wrong, we're going to log an error to the file. And this method is found here. Now this class breaks the single responsibility principle because this class here has more than one responsibility. It's creating a user and it's logging an error to the file. So the way that we're going to fix this is we're going to create a new class. We're going to call it logger.php class logger and we're going to say public function write to file message and inside here we we'll just write to file. So we can close this now. And back in our index page, we're going to create a new logger instance. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use dependency injection to inject this instance into our user class. So we we'll just say logger, just like that. And now we need to pass this into our constructor. So we'll type hint it to logger. And we'll say this logger equals logger. And we'll also add that variable up here. So now what we can do is we can get rid of this. And inside here, what we want to say instead is this logger write to file e get message. So now this code passes the single responsibility principle because it only has one responsibility, which is create a class. We moved the functionality of writing an error to a file to a new class, which has its own responsibility.